Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test stream. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, multi-layered synths in a gadget, or how you can play multi-layered synths in gadget, and other stuff as well. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to pick a few gadgets that we might want to multi-layer. So we'll use a salt bag, um, I, I don't know, a, uh, a, ooh, a Glasgow, and um, oh, I, uh, a Lisbon, a Lisbon. Uh, we could go on, okay, so, uh, but for the sake of time, uh, here's the thing. So first of all, I'm going to make just a couple of adjustments. I'm going to set these to, no, sorry, um, I'm going to set this to four bars and this one to four bars and this one to four bars as well. So, because we want to record our multi-layers as well, Okay. So um, next thing we need to do is go out to function now is if we select MIDI here, you see our Salzburg is playing. And then if we select our MIDI for Glasgow and then Lisbon, Lisbon's a bit loud and don't like the sound. So she'll so we'll just pick a. Yeah, that's nice. That'll do it. That's a cool sound for the multi-layer, I think. So, at the moment, you can see that we can play each one individually with this. Now, this is so, so easy. Um, so, this would be your mix. your mix between your layers, if you like. And then you can make adjustments to each individual synth. That's cool beans, yeah. The key is up here in the settings. MIDI is really... So, MIDI input is... Set on easy, and that means you can select each instrument individual. Let's just set this on advanced, okay, and that's it. So now you'll see that here, as long as it hasn't gone out of focus, you will see that at the bottom now it says all, 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 and all of them would now play at the same time, so... Or any layer you want okay now so let's uh, just record those and then I'll show you another another very cool thing to do with the MIDI um, and things that, that may make more sense to some people because I did have somebody say all my gadgets triggering at the same time and their settings was on advanced so anyway so all we need to do is our tempo will be fine at what it is. I'm just going to record four bars of a few chords. That's it. So um, let's just uh, set this off here. So we'll get a count in. So I also, I didn't have my, um, uh, what's it switched on, but however, I will have been in quantize. So I'd, I'd quantize set as a default. So as long as quantize is on, it's all recorded in time. So now what you have is your, Okay, it's all it's all a bit boring, <laughs> but anyway, you get the point. That's how you do your multi layers. So next, I'm going to show you how to. Right. So what's what we'll do for start off is we'll just duplicate that. So hit those two little things there. We have an exact copy of our first section. We can take that off. So now well, let's add some. Uh, just let's add a little drum beat here. Now here's the thing. What you're going to notice now is that 
as soon as I start to play, Gladstone and everything else is going to play as well. That's something we certainly, certainly, absolutely do not want. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this. If you want to remain in advanced mode, okay, all you need to do here is go to this where it says all, uh, and then all channels, okay, and then just select a different channel, okay, for this. So just select channel two for all of those, and then all you will get now on your MIDI channel keyboard one is Gladstone. Now, if I move my, my actual oxygen keyboard over to channel two, you will see that they all play again. This is because it's still set on all, remember. If I just wanted to swap over to those three, I would then set Gladstone just to channel one. And then if I move my MIDI keyboard control over to channel two, I'm back to being able to control just those three or those three. The other way, of course, is just to go back to easy now and then just select the MIDI for that one or this one. And then you can control them all separately again. This will still play the same. But what I can do now is I can let me do, don't need to do that. Just let's do this. Actually, yeah, I'll do this so you can see it anyway. But uh, let's just uh, go back to our tr beginning here. Let's make sure that this time metronome is on. So I've got a click and Okay, so what we've got now is it back to being MIDI on easy, but we can then again, if we wanted to, set up a completely new multi-layer for another couple of synths, if we wanted to. And then what we'd need to do then is make sure that, like, let me quickly show you as well, so we have time, it doesn't take too long. Um, yeah, okay, so let's set up this time a, I don't know, electric piano one here and a um montpellier there so now let's go to so we know we want let's see what we've got on piano let's do something a bit more nice than that okay so <clears throat> we'll do this and we'll go back to our montpellier now and see what we've got here well, that's a bit naff so i want something like That's nice. That'll go quite well with the old uh, what's it. And then we can take the volume down of those a little bit, I think. Let me just take this one. Now we can go to advanced again. And you will see that we it's because we're in our same project. Oh, there's a thing as well. Save. Save all the time. In gadget just save all the time it's easier so we've got two two channel two channel two and then we've got these two so we need to set i think this one on to let's put that onto channel three and we can i tell you what i'm going to make this even easier as well i'm going to go to channel for so if you you just got to remember to take care of where you're placing your midi inside of gadget and i need to move my channel on my midi controller over to channel four as well so now i'll have my more control so what we could do then is just um further copy all that don't know how this will sound actually, but it's probably sound okay as long as I'm in the right key. Um, 
We'll just play a little bit of that and see if we can record a little bit. Um, maybe sure my switch my metronome back. Oh no, I don't need my metronome now because I've got my kick drum, haven't I? Sorry, I keep putting my camera. Here you go. <clears throat> I don't, that was my mistake. Clear that, clear that. <clears throat> I could have just carried on, but it would have made no sense. So I'm going to start with this one, okay? So I'll we'll so we'll just select that, make sure it's on the thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. time now I can just go back to say well I wanted to say I want to do a duplicate but I want to change that or just completely build a new track and then I could go back to my channel one here which has nothing in it yeah so I've got channel two for those if we can remember let's stop there I think I'm on channel two and then channel three for Gladstone and then channel four. So I've got nothing on channel one anyway, so. So back to channel three and then over to channel four. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you can do it. And you can build up some very quick, um, very, very fast um, switching. And then sometimes in progressive rock, what they would do is they would set up multiple in, in, instances of instruments, set them on different channels, and then later on they would just keep swapping out the the. Uh, so they do a solo, and every few notes or every every bar or so, the sound would change, and you think, God, that's amazing! It must have took ages and ages to do that. Whereas in reality, they'd just be playing kind of like um, just one solo sort of thing, like. that kind of thing, and then they would um, set up different instruments and then just keep changing the MIDI channel, so it's really cool. That takes a while to do, so I'm not going to do that here. Anyway, guys, that's how you do it. That's how you can build multis in uh, multiple layers and do different things with the MIDI and stuff inside Gadget. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron. That's very, very cool beans and very, very helpful, and there's lots of cool stuff over there. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.